Hey, good morning, everyone. We're back at the home office in Monaco, Pennsylvania. You know, I have said many times, there are those that are meant to work and there are those who are meant to lead. But then again, there are always those shining stars who not only lead by example, but literally show us that anything is possible. And people that are also able to keep their feet on the ground while continuing to reach for the star for the greater good. You know, many of the entrepreneurs that I talk about and the successful ones are long in it after the money that was necessary for them to make to live a quality life and their children and grandchildren after them continue to do what they do because of the passion and the love of what they were born to do, lead. And no one set that bar or example higher than Sergio Marchionne. He is the man who I've talked about at length, time and time again, here with you or on the radio. Chrysler Fiat, 66 years of age, finding out today he has passed away. What a tragic loss. Yes, a natural born leader, but also someone who made me believe that anything was possible. You all know the love I have for the automobile industry. But what he did with Chrysler, one of the iconic brands, I mean, right there with names like Ford and Chevrolet, I mean, this is a brand that generations of families have either driven the brand or worked for the brand. Ask my friend Johnny Hall, who works at Beaver County Dodge Jeep, PJ Plasco's amazing place in Chippewa. He'll be the first to tell you, there's no doubt, I mean, the brand Jeep has become, well, one of the biggest worldwide. And a lot of it has to do because of the leadership of Mr. Marchioni. Well, when I found out that he had died, it was very sad. And it's really kind of hard to even imagine the world without that candle that burnt so bright. I mean, this man, there was nothing for him to put in a 20-hour day, jetting back from Rome to Detroit and then back to Rome again. Not only was he able to put Chrysler back on the map to survive, but they thrived. And the countless number of people that are working because of it. You know, when you think of the great people that have really worked in the automobile industry, not just at your local dealerships, whether they're out front on the showroom floor or back there doing what they do, these great mechanics and the people in the front office, and obviously the families who really have put sweat equity into owning these dealerships, but think about those who have worked on the assembly line in the automobile industry around the world, generation after generation after generation. If it wasn't for Mr. Marchioni, that light would have went out a long time ago at Chrysler. So today, I'm very saddened to report his loss, but you can be sure of this. Anytime I have a chance to sit with my children during a meal or just relaxing, and somehow, some way, a Chrysler passes by, or G, more times than not, I'll simply say, hey, let me tell you a story about a man who dared to dream, and dream big he did. Thank you, sir, and to you and your family, through this very difficult time, our thoughts and prayers go out to you. And because of that great heritage, let me just say, Zhang Dong. Have a great day from your practice.